deep philosophy, philosophy from our inner depth. Hello, Nikolai. Hello, Ron. Recently, we contemplated in our deep philosophy group on a text by the French philosopher Henri Bergson. Bergson was extremely influential and important philosopher at the beginning of the 20th century. At the center of Bergson's philosophy is, is his idea of time. And for him, there is a distinction between two kinds of time. On the one hand, there is what he calls geometric time. This is time as a dimension, like in physics, one moment, another moment, another moment. And in each moment, specific things are happening. But, says Bergson, this is not real time. Because real time flows. The time in our experience, the time of life, is a time that flows. And this is what he called duration. Duration is a flow of time, which is uh, like a symphony, that the different uh, voices, different sounds, the different qualities color each other and create a whole holistic flow where every moment colors the next moment and is colored by the previous moment and so on. Now, I wonder, Nikolai, I wonder, is there anything in this philosophy, in this vision, that especially touches you? Yes. Uh, this exact uh, concept of time as duration, as a melody, as the flow of life, it really touches me. It somehow gives me a hint how I can live, well, let's say, a more fully life, even. To live a life to connect to life, to the beam of life, to the rhythm of life. So this is very inspiring. Uh, and I think that Bergson is not only mm, teaching some theory, but actually he is appealing to each of us. So he's appealing to me, Nikolai, you can live your life. You can connect the duration. So this is very inspiring because he is very practical for me. He's a practical philosopher. Yes, exactly. The specific text that we read uh, recently had to do with two aspects of the self. One is the self is a flowing reality and the other one is some superficial abstraction. Do you connect to that specifically? Yes, I sometimes... Mm, what what is good about Bergson and his texts is that I can clearly connect to what he is writing immediately. I can um, see the connection in and parallels with my life. So I can see that most of the time I I perceive myself as um, like a fixed statue, <laughs> fixed I don't know mechanism. Let's say. It's exactly what he is saying about uh, what intellect can do. Just, just uh, picture some mechanism or structure. But at at the on the other hand, sometimes I can, I can feel these moments of real flowing, of real dancing, of real melody of my life. The text really tells you about yourself. It gives you yes. the perspective to think about your more or less dead self or fixed self and your living self. Yes. Very interesting. Is there a specific sentence in the text that especially touched you? Yes. And it is in the end of our text. Most of the time, we live outside ourselves and we are acted rather than act ourselves. And to act freely is to repossess oneself and to get back into pure duration. To get back to the pure flow of time, to who you really are, the symphony of life. This, this is very interesting. And does this text, this sentence, or these ideas, um, you mentioned that they tell you how 
to live in the future, how you should live, but do they also resonate with experience of the past? Yes, it, it, this text does uh, connect with, more, with some past events. It somehow brings to my mind several episodes, but they all have one common feature. It's, it's about if I'm fully present in the moment or I am uh, like, let's say, formally present. I am here, I'm talking, I'm doing some duty, what I'm supposed to do in this role. And opposed to the different like feeling of, of real being in the situation, of being of real presence in the situation. I, I remember very right now, I, I recalled one moment very brightly when it was like some real um, problem in the, in the work, some delay of some goods, let's say. And so I have some proud troubles. And uh, usually I, I react in this situation like very anxiously. And I began to fidgeting, I began to worry about this. But at that moment, I, I perceive it like, like it's okay. It, it goes like this, it's, it's a creative process. So it's happening and I can find something out, in, out of this situation. Not to put it into like some borders that I get used to, not to put under plans how to handle this situation. But somehow I, I touch this idea of creation. It sounds like a deep experience that you are connected to life. Yes, a rare, deep but rare experience, yes. Well, that's very nice how you take Bergson and from just an abstract theory, turn him into a way to live in the future and also to understand yourself in the present and the past. Yes. Never stop shaping your statue. Thank you very much, Nikolai. Thank you. Thank you, Ron.